Hello, I hope everyone is doing well. So, it's been mentioned to me several times that in my range training guide videos that I always fail to mention chinning. And that is due largely to the fact that I've never really had an account that is able to chin since my main account is a one defense pure that has already completed Monkey Madness. So I decided to bring an old account out of retirement. This is the account that I started Old School RuneScape with when it first came out, and I hadn't played in a long time. Here is the gear that I decided to use. Now a lot of this comes down to what you can afford. For instance, you don't have to have the Necklace of Anguish. You could simply use an Amulet of Glory or Fury. I don't have Ranger boots on this account, so I'm using the Holy Sandals as a prayer boost. Also, the ring is a matter of choice as well. You could use an Archer rings for slightly better range bonus, but because of my internet connection, I have opted to go with the Ring of Life. Also, in case anyone noticed, I do not have the Book of Law on this account, and I don't want to spend the two mil just to do it for this video, so I am using the Saradomen book for the prayer bonus, but if you really were doing this on a pure, you would probably want to go ahead and get that Book of Law for the range bonus in your shield spot. When you go to Chin, you need to go to Ape Atoll, and it's important to note that if you are a one defense pure, do not finish Monkey Madness quest because you will not be able to get back to Ape Atoll without taking the defense experience. My choice of location to start chinning is here in this northwestern area on these skeletal monkeys. Now it's important to note that there won't be a whole lot of them when you first get there, so you'll need to start killing the ones that are there and then more will spawn out of the bone piles. So what you want to do is get as many possible bone piles in kind of a box around you so that you're getting the maximum amount of experience possible. The way I like to do this, and I'm not by any means suggesting that this is the only way to do it because I'm not an expert on this, but I like to stand right where my character is now, next to this pile of large rocks here, and then target my chinchampa at the middle of the pack of the skeletal monkeys. That way it can hit as many as possible. Sometimes though, if I feel like the herd is starting to thin out, or if I just simply want to create more bone piles, I will move a little bit to the northeast and kind of position myself directly in front, directly to the south of these little markings on the floor right where I'm walking right now. And then I'll do the same thing. I will target the skeletal monkey in the middle to try to optimize the amount of monkeys that I'm hitting with my chins. I started chinning with only level 70 range on this account using only gear that is available to one defense peers with red chinchampas on the medium fuse and I've been getting fairly regular 300 plus experience drops with some of them exceeding 400 so I think that's pretty decent. I managed to get upwards of 280k experience per hour while going from level 70 to 75. At some point maybe I'll finish Monkey Madness 2 on this account and get Void and then I could make a video guide on chinning down there at higher levels. As for this, I did it in two trips. I did from 70 to 72 and a half without Eagle Eye, just using Protect from Melee, and I got 278k experience per hour. And then from about 72 and a half to 75, I camped Eagle Eye alongside with Protect from Melee, and I got closer to 305k experience per hour. Now there is a small bias there since I was a couple levels higher range when I was doing the Eagle Eye as opposed to without. But it seems to me that for 30k extra experience per hour, it is worth the few extra thousand coins and prayer potions that you would spend. So looking at these two trips, it took me an hour and 40 minutes to go from 70 to 75 range. That's 473k total experience. It took me a total of 3200 chins at 147 experience per chin with a total cost of 4.6 mil including prayer potions. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.